Hey guys, it's Liam here, and today I have you another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you another two-parter. It's kind of like a, uh, well, it, you'll see. Anyway, so here we are in this lovely village, just a regular village, nothing big. But I'm going to make it snow in Minecraft, and uh, without actually doing slash toggle downfall or whatever. We're going to go step on this pressure paint here, and it should start snowing. Yay! As you can see, it's snowing all over the town here, and the snow's actually getting placed down. And uh, it's a bit laggy here, but it should be coming in. So basically, what's happening here is snow is falling from the sky and landing all over the place. And you're probably wondering, how's he doing this? Well, I'll show you. Basically, we if we fly up here, a bit odd but okay up here we get this big fiery thing and this is basically a custom spawner that's constantly something um falling sand that is tiled or whatever coated to be snow so let me just break this here and so snow is just one of the many options for this you can also do something like this Basically, what I did was I um, coated the falling sand for obsidian, and then I put the I did the command, and then it put it um, put the spawner up there, and it all started falling. So basically, what you can do with this is you can have randomly generated terrain using only one command block, and I mean it's not perfect, and it looks kind of odd at points, but it is really cool if you want to have an adventure map that's completely randomized. So let's get into the command here. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go back to the very beginning and we're going to go like this. Now this is a long one so bear with me. Slash set block tilde tilde and you can do this wherever you want. I did a hundred um, so that's high enough up that it all falls you know and then tilde and then you can just put in the ID, but I put uh, Minecraft colon mob underscore spawner, and then you do zero, and then replace, so that's in case anything's there, although I don't think it works like that. And then you do delay colon one, so it, um, it, delay, like, it puts a delay on how quickly it spawns, I think. If you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial, you, you might want to go to Dragnaz's channel, but this is this is how you do it in here. And then you do spawn data, um, colon, and then entity ID, falling sand. Not sure what the tile does, although I'm not sure if it matters. And then you do time, 50, and tile ID, for the snow you do 78, and you can just figure out the different um, uh, IDs for different blocks. Drop item zero. That's so that way if it breaks on like a pressure pressure plate. Sorry, I've been watching Corellis. Um, a pressure plate, it doesn't drop anything. And then do item entity ID falling sand. I don't know why you have to repeat it. And then spawn count. Now I did fifty. You could probably do more, but I actually put it up at like two thousand, and my computer just like lagged out like crazy. So I keep it around fifty, um, and that works out perfectly. Uh, then do spawn range 100, delay colon 1. You could also do that to 0, but basically what I did is so that way it's constantly falling. And then then max spawn delay is 1, and max, oh, and make sure max nearby entities can be really high, so that way it doesn't like stop at any point. So just do it like 1000 or something. And then do requ required player range, and you might want to make this really big because, um, so that way, you know, like, y y it can happen far off, you know? So, that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching, and, uh, be sure to check out my channel, and possibly even subscribe. Also, don't forget to bludgeon that like button, and check out Dragnoz's, uh, custom spawner tutorial for a more in-depth explanation. Also, command will be down in the description, so thanks.